is Monse and this is So Yoga. And thank you so much for joining and welcome to my channel. We're going to do a quick uh, morning practice to get the energies moving and a bit of side stretches for you. Okay, so let's start already in child pose. So just sit on your heels. If your bum doesn't reach your heels, you can, you can put a blanket here or something to make it more comfortable and bring the toes together. Open the knees slightly and simply slide down. Forehead may reach the floor. If it doesn't reach the floor, you can always bend the arms and use them as a little pillow. You can put them as high as you like. Sometimes I would like to put like two fists, one on top of the other. This allows my back to rest a bit more. Or if you can and you like, perhaps you want to go all the way down to the floor. This is your practice. So please be mindful, listen to your body and do what feels right. Always challenging yourself a bit. There is no growth without challenge, but at the same time, not pushing yourself beyond a point that's comfortable, beyond the point that's healthy for your body today, right now. Two more breaths here, allowing the hips to get closer to your heels. With every exhale, you're releasing a bit more, especially if you're doing this practice in the morning, sometimes just after waking up, our body feels a bit rigid. So we need to gently, <laughs> gently um, coach him out of the rigidity. As you inhale, lift your head a bit and now walk your hands all the way to the left and then bring the forehead down again. You don't have to go too far, just as far as you notice a nice long stretch on the side of the body, on the right side of the body. Perhaps from the armpits all the way down to your hips, perhaps only in the armpits, perhaps only in the hips. There's nothing wrong. Just make sure that your hips are still trying to get in contact with the heels. One more deep breath. And then once again, inhaling, lift the head and walk the hands through the center and all the way to the right. And again, just drop the, the forehead down. Relaxing the hips. Perhaps one side feels a bit more um, tight than the other. That's also completely normal. Notice your breathing here. Notice if you can make more space between your ribs. So you breath and then the next inhale, lift the forehead. Come forward once again and lifting your hips come into all fours. Come into a tabletop position, squeeze the belly, try to find a neutral spine here. And let's do just a couple of cat and cow. So dropping the belly, open the chest, look forward. And then as you exhale, pushing the feet and heads against the floor, curving your back, look at your belly button. And again, inhale. Exhale. Now come back to neutral. Extend the right foot back. Fingertips are on the floor. I'm gonna come a bit forward because I'm hitting a plant there. <laughs> Fingertips, finger toes. I beg your pardon. The toes. <laughs> finger toes, no. Toes are on the floor and the heel is pushing to the back wall. So finding a stretch in your calf muscles. You can even make it a bit. Um, 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 dynamic gosh. <laughs> by moving your heel back and forth a tiny bit and then just stay in that static stretch once again lift the heel up stay here for a moment in this balanced pose squeeze the belly now drive that 
right foot as far to the left as you can and look over your left shoulder. The, he the, the toes can be back on the floor or perhaps they are up in the air. See how it feels best for you this morning. And come back, come back into the tabletop and this time stretch the left foot. And once again, you can do gentle movements with the heel back and forth. You can squeezing the belly, trying to maintain a stable and stable back, neutral. And then the heel stays static with the heel pressing towards the back wall, finding the stretch in that calf muscle. Then lift the heel up, maintaining a straight um, hips and drive that left foot as far to the right as you can and then place the heels on the floor looking over your right shoulder again you can keep the foot up if you like or just keep the feet down on the floor inhaling come back come back come back come back place your hands slightly forward tuck your toes and come into downward dog taking your time Taking your time, squeezing. You can bend the knees, keeping your heels quite high up. Fingertips, the knuckles pressing against the floor. Breathe here. The next inhale, the right foot goes up. Again, like we did before, trying not to twist the hips. Hips are square. And now bring that foot between your hands and the left knee on the floor. You can keep the fingertips or the hands on the floor here, if you like, or if you want a tiny bit more challenge, come up a bit, come up a bit, squeeze the belly, engage the core muscles, try not to curve the lower back too much, still keep it engaged, and now just allow gravity to drop your hips down. Your hands are facing down, fingertips energize them facing the floor. If this is too much, you can have the hands on your knee or keep them on the floor. So the fingertips are energized, so they're driving your shoulders down as well. Keep your chest open. Breathe. Inhale the next, exhale, bring the hands down and stretch the front leg for half Hanuman. Make sure that you're driving the bone, the right uh, leg into the hip socket. So you, you can come as low as you like, but try not to twist. Again, inhale forward. And this time, you're gonna come all the way to the top of the mat. Bring both feet to the top. Bring the hands on your hips, squeeze the belly. You can bend the knees and then with the back straight, come all the way up. Exhale, hands down. Again, the fingertips facing the floor, as if you're wanting to reach the floor with your fingertips. Shoulders open, chest open. And now simply more rotate your shoulders, bringing the hands up to the sky. And exhale, bending again the knees gently, bring the hands down to the floor, take two steps to um, downward dog again. Next inhale, the left foot goes up this time, keep the hips square, foot between your hands, right knee on the floor. And again, you can choose, you can have the hands down or the fingertips or come up, engage the core, and then just allow the hips to come down with the force of gravity, but without you pushing. See the difference? So I'm not pushing here, but I'm engaging my core, keeping my tailbone descending, and then just letting gravity open my hips. Now, the hands, once again, fingertips open, energized and to the floor. Open the chest. One more inhale. And as you exhale, bring the hands down and stretch the front leg. And once again, try to keep that hip, the left hip backwards, as if like you want to drag that leg inside the hip socket. 
breathe, finding the extension on the back of the leg. Then inhale forward. And once again, come to the top of the mat, bending the knees slightly, hands on your hips, squeeze the belly back straight and come all the way up. Fingertips down. Inhale, fingertips up. And exhaling, squeezing the belly back straight, come all the way down. You can use the blocks if you have, if you like to, for a half lift. So again, you can keep the fingertips on the floor, on your shins, or on a block. Your back is straight. Squeeze the belly. And then exhaling all the way down again, bending the knees as much as you like to. Plant the hands and come into downward dog again. One more time, inhaling the right leg goes up. But this time we bend the leg, knee pointing at the ceiling, the foot towards the left side. Inhale straight again and as you exhale bring the foot between your hands one more time. Knee down once again. This time you can once again choose to stay here, hands down or bring the hands up into the sky. Fingertips pointing up, energized. This time bring the hands together in front of your chest and clasp the uh, left elbow just outside the right knee for a twist. Breathe here. And again, allow your hips to fall with the force of gravity, but keep the core engaged, the back engaged, just twisting from the core, squeeze, squeeze. The hands are in the middle of your chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down, and once again, that half splits. Toes pointing up. Inhale, forward, downward dog. Inhale, left leg up, bend the knee. Try not to twist the upper body, just the lower body that twist. Inhale, straighten the leg, exhale, foot between your hands, right knee down. Once again, you can choose where you want your hands. You can bring them up. Fingertips energized. Inhale, and as you exhale, once again, Anjali Mudra prayer position, hands in the middle of your chest, and then twist, bringing the outside of the right elbow, just outside the left knee. And again, here, your hip keeps on descending, squeeze the core, engage there, and you want to twist your top body, so almost, almost as if the hands are in the middle of the chest. So you're not dropping here. You see the difference? You're not dropping. You try to keep engaged and twisting from the core. Breathe. Come back forward. And once again, stretch, toes engaged. Inhale forward, downward dog. This time you're gonna come into plank. Hold the plank here for energy that inner fire energy lifting. Imagine that not only the hands are holding you, but the whole body is lifting you up. Exhale, downward dog again. Inhale, the right leg goes up one more time. And exhale, this time you round the back and the knee comes towards your nose, rounding the back. Inhale, up again. Exhale, squeeze the belly, round the back knee to nose. One more time. Round the back, knee to nose. This time the foot is between your hands. We keep that left knee lifted this time and we do another twist. Right left hand on the floor, right arm up in the sky. Easy twist. Breathe here. From here, we're gonna go into Vashistrasana or side plank. So bring the foot. One foot can be in front of the other, on top of the other, or if it's too much, you can even descend one knee down. See what option you like to take today. 
if it's comfortable for your neck, you can look up to the sky. And hand down, downward dog. Inhale, plank. <laughs> Exhale all the way down. Slide the hands come into Sphinx. And breathe. Engage the legs, feet pressing against the floor. Thighs pressing against the floor and the belly firm against the floor. Chest forward, open the chest. One more breath here. Exhale, come down. And downward dog. Inhaling, the left foot goes up. Exhale, knee to nose, round the back. Inhale, up. Knee to nose, round the back. Inhale, up. Hey, squeeze, squeeze, knee to nose. And this time the foot comes forward between your hands. Keep the right knee lifted. And this time opening, left arm comes up. Keep the, the right foot engaged. Knee, I mean heel, towards the back wall. And from here, Vashistrasana or side. And again, you can choose, you can bring one knee down and extend the other. You can bring one foot in front of the other or one on top of the other. There's many variations of it. See what shoes, what suits you today. And again, for the neck, you can look down, forward, or if you want more challenge for your balance, you can look up, breathe. See if you're holding your breath, try to drip, drip, <laughs> breathe deeply. And then hand down, downward dog. Inhale. Plank, exhale all the way down. This time keep the hands here and inhaling cobra, lifting, breathe, exhale down. One more cobra, inhale up, exhale down. And this time just push yourself into a child pose. Bringing once again your hips to your heels, like we did at the beginning. And you can allow your elbows to drop to the floor, forehead to the floor. Or perhaps once again, forehead on your arms, on your fists. See if you find any difference with the pose at the beginning. Perhaps you find a bit more openness. Perhaps not. And try to recover the breath. Try to breathe smoothly. See if we can go back, go back to a longer breath. Breathing in into your belly, into your back. Breathing out, the hips come closer to your heels. And then slowly, slowly, pushing with your hands against the floor, come up, come up to a seated position. You can sit on your heels in the thunderbolt pose or you can sit with your legs crossed it's up to you i would say if you're sitting on your legs with your legs crossed perhaps put a cushion underneath or a folded blanket to elevate a bit your hips and then close your eyes for a moment if you're doing this in the middle of the day Maybe you had a break from work. Maybe you needed some quick practice to energize your body. I do that sometimes. Or perhaps you're doing this first thing in the morning. Whatever time it is, what task are you gonna tackle next? What is it that you said to yourself, 
you're gonna accomplish today or what task are you gonna tackle that's gonna take you closer to accomplishing a certain goal or project Visualize yourself tackling that task. Maybe something you've been putting off. How long is going to take you? Give yourself a time frame. What is the one task, just one, that you need to do? that you want to do today that you get to do today that will take you closer to achieving that goal or project or maybe it's just a task in itself that just needs getting done bring the hands in front of your chest lightly touching your chest with your thumbs Then inhale through the nose, open your mouth, let go, a big exhale. <sighs> Let's do it one more time together, inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, open your eyes. <sighs> and thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope this was useful. Uh, please let me know in the comments what was that task <laughs> you wanted to accomplish and if you get it done. And also, please, um, if you're new to this channel, if, you, if you've never been here before, if you like this video, please take the time to subscribe. That really helps. And to share with friends, family, or whoever you think might enjoy it. And um, that's it. <laughs> Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much.